Hi everybody, Catfish Jones here. We are going to see if this is even possible. The last time I did it was very interesting. And hopefully we can recreate that magic. But what I'm doing is trying to go live on a little bit of a touch-up painting for this set of black birds. I'll uh, mix my paint up while you guys are joining me if anybody chooses to join, and if not, that's quite all right as well. Um, Pro Hat, good to see you. My buddy, Sabian, with so much energy. I'm loving all of the Minecraft stuff, but all of the non-Minecraft stuff as well. Um, maybe I'll give you guys a quick quick look. This is what I'm starting with right here, is some blackbirds, but you can tell they're not perfectly lined up. I did the three paintings a little separately, and so I'm going to kind of work on them one at a time. And I've got a bit of a time frame, so hopefully this does not take much longer than 30, 45 minutes, something like that. But that does suggest that I will be painting for at least that long. I'm not a big fan of that color right there. I am mixing my colors as we get going here. Wisconsin Greg, very good to see you. Good to see you here. And I still have plans for my tag video. I have not taken the initiative to make it happen yet, but it still is in the works and could be happening very soon. We'll see. It's on my list. So much on my list. But it is one of the most important things on my list. Oh, I know there's not worries. I'm just a little worried because I took it very seriously. I was so honored to be in your tag video that I want to do it right. And I have some channels in mind that I think can work. I think I'm going to need some more red. That's uh, the number one thing I've done here. Uh, maybe you guys should take a peek at my palette while I mix this up. So, you know what? I'm going to touch this up. Why not just smash it right here? Boom! So... I really only like to use three colors, red, yellow, and blue, and mix them with some neutrals to make all of the colors. Just because I have a lot of fun with color theory, I'm going to need a lot more red. I'm going to need a lot more red. I also like to let my paint dry on the, can or on the palette because it's so much fun later to come back and have a mess palette and then peel that palette up do a little bit of an ASMR video that way you know how I do you guys know me pretty well so what I'm doing right here and the glare is not the best but I'm just trying to mix up some purple which is blue and yellow or blue and red I'm sorry and try to get my sky going first and I wonder if there's a way that I can do this hmm Yeah, that's not so bad because I'm also doing a uh, like a regular tiny speed painting like I do. And we're going to see if I can make this work here. I like to add a whole bunch of water. So that's the next thing I'm doing here. This old stoner. So good to see you. So good to see you out here. I know I did not get a painting up last week. So I wanted to make up for it by doing what I intended to do last week. Whoa. Which is not bump the table, but get some paint on canvases. And what I'm going to try to do here is just, ooh, you know what? I can tell right away I need a lot more white than that. So we'll just pick a corner of my palette here and lighten it up. Save some of the dark colors for dark needs. Oh, that is just gorgeous. How's that looking up here? Yeah, really gorgeous. I could use a little more white, but in a separate little world. So I'm going to do it right here. Oh, yeah. Now, I've already got a good coat under there, so I'm trying to add a ton of white or a ton of water to thin the paint a little bit and make sure that it's just kind of a light coat to tie all this together. And I really do like what that's doing. Um, I usually use this... Uh, I 
I usually use this. Really, cat? Really? This C clamp to try to get. Oh boy. A good grip on these things while I'm painting them, the little square canvases. This is not turning out well at all. I can already tell. I smell nothing but disastrophe. But you know what? I'm going to roll with it. Number one disastrophe is I had intended for the cat not to be able to get in the room while I was doing this. He outsmarted me quite early. But my hands are full, so he's just going to have to live with it. Which is to say, I'm just going to have to live with it. Bless his little heart. Kitty! No, you're going to get paint on yourself and then paint on everything else. So you, be prepared for me to fight the kitty off a little bit, and he is not going to be happy about it. Which should make for a very interesting layer of this whole painting. Don't do it! Oh, goodness me, oh my. I can already tell the problems we're going to have. Okay, I got to do these one at a time and then just kind of tie them together a little bit, I think. The last one was so great because I was doing these uh, chess pieces that tied themselves together really well. And so all I had to do was go in and touch up a little bit. Now, I'm not trying to repaint the whole sky here. I'm just trying to tie them together a little bit. Kitty! Kitty, this is not the kitty show! <laughs> Maybe he'll get bored and move on when I don't let him get his feet all messy. But the goal is really just to take these paintings and tie them together. And the part that I really want to tie together are these branches down at the bottom because I wasn't able to give them the level of detail I really felt they deserved. I'm sorry I'm missing all the comments. Mark Fun Jones knows exactly how this goes. You get to painting and you just don't get to see the comments you wish you could. Oh yeah, that's working really well though. I really think if I tie this top part together, I'll be able to move on to Kitty. Move on to the bird touch up without too much extraneous stresses. Which the cat is providing plenty, if I may say so. Kitty! Oh, there you go. Take that as a lesson. He is such a curious little kitten. And I know Bob Ross used to really like to bring his friends, his little critters on, as it were. I like to be a little bit more of a control freak here. So we're going to see how this goes. Just trying to scrub in a little bit of color to tie these all together. Hello, my friend Gomez. So good to see you. So good to see you. My friend and twin. Cannot forget the twinship we share. Mainly just trying to tie these up into one set. And I think it's going to work if I don't mess with it too much. If and I don't mess too much, or mess up too much, because these birds are very important not to get uh, too messy. No, I think that's really good. Just let it go. Kind of do a little bit of blendage. And I think we might be good there. Okay, next phase is this tail right here. I'm not a big fan of that. So let's do, and that's a little bit darker of a color. You guys got to see me mix some purple, but the rest of this stuff is hiding over here. Kitty! Bless his little heart. He's just getting into trouble. But there's nothing I can do about it because I have to hold the brush. Oh, that's a perfect color. And I'm very excited for when I get to get into these sticks and stems. Yeah, you can see him in the background. He's, he really, oh, there he is right there. He really just wants to be part of it all. And my 
Okay, here he comes. I got to make sure I'm prepared to defend in case he tries stepping in paint. Number one is we don't want him all painty and then leaving little kitty footprints all over the place. Because that might actually get me in trouble. <laughs> so now what I'm doing here is just blending. And blending is the key. If you can get a little bit of something, something going and then just blend it. I think that is the, the ultimate goal here. Out with family. It's okay, Mark Fun Jones. I appreciate you popping by to see me paint just a touch. And uh, not trying to upstage any. I don't think I can do the live painting very well at all. But I'm going to give it a go. Because I think these touch-up sets are best done live. Very much indeed. So here we go. I think the, the top part here. Let's do another little bit of a zoom out and see if we can see it. Mm, without the glare. Well, the glare is going to be what the glare is because the glare is glary. But I think that is very good. That itty bitty kitty bitty. The putty tat. I taught I taught. Indeed. So, where do we go from here? Well, I think what I need to do next is going to be... Scribble out that, that brush a little bit. Let it sit there while I switch to a new brush. But I still need kind of a bit of a thicker brush. Uh, that was my shadow. I was over here dipping my paint brush in water. I've got a water jar sitting right here. And uh, if I do it just right, I don't get on the painting, don't get on the video. I did not do it just right. Little kitty bitty is down here at the floor gnawing on something he knows I wouldn't let him gnaw on, but he also has figured out that I can't stop him. Can't stop him now. So we're going to we're going to just carry on cuz I'm having too much fun already. I can tell this is going to be a glorious day. This purple color was so good. I'm just going to color it a little bit with this red. And I think the last thing I'm going to do is touch up the outlines on the birds, but I'm going to mess with the branches next. And there is a lot to do in there. So mixing up some colors over here on my palette. Maybe we could take a look at that while I do it. Um, maybe in a way that doesn't let my hand just shake all over the place. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I got a little bit of black here. I don't usually like to use black. Usually I just do red, yellow, and blue. And then mix accordingly with some white in there to lighten as needed. But mostly the blue is my black. But we're talking blackbirds here, so you have to have some level of black up in there. And usually I like an ultramarine blue, but I'm really close to being out. So I do have a little bit of this thalo, which is, in my opinion, a little greener than I like. But if you add enough of this red, it really just turns into a fantastic violet. And who doesn't love violets, right? Right. So what I'm going to do with these branches is try to blue towards the back and red towards the front. And so if I can get a nice bluish violet going on, which I think I've got right here. Very nice. And then try to get some water on that so it's thin. Because as Bob Ross, uh, some of these words are... Okay. Uh, as Bob Ross says, a thin paint will stick to a thick paint. And right now I've laid some paint down there already and I want to make sure this sticks to whatever else I'm using. Uh, if you guys are not aware, Bob Ross is the mentor of mentors when it comes to painting. I'm sure many of you know who I'm talking about, what I'm saying, picking up what I'm laying down, and all of that fun hoopla. But... The idea I'm using here is that gray goes towards the back and the warm, really a cold gray towards the back. And I'm sorry for the shaking, but needs must when the devil drives, as another mentor of mine says. So I've got a thinner brush. Let's go back over to the painting because what I'm going to try to do, and maybe I can set this up like this. 
Mm, nope, that's not really going to work. Mm, that, that's kind of going to work. If only I had another foot of... I wish I could sound like a robot all the time. Oh my goodness, you don't even know. All of my spaceship stories are really robot stories, but they're set in a future where everybody has a spaceship. So... Man, did I match that color perfectly? Kitty! Get, get. He knows what's up, too. Man, did I ever match that color perfectly? Oh, man. I got so lucky with that. Lucked out. Indeed. And... The thing about branches is there's usually, rarely just one little stick sticking out. Usually there's a couple of them. So if I can do something like this and then get his brother right here, then that is the cat's meow. If you don't mind a metaphor like that today, I know my good friend Bud down here scrounging around does not mind a cat meow metaphor. Although he's not quite the meower other cats tend to be. He's a, a very quiet cat. Maybe he just hasn't figured that part out yet. So that's one branch done. And I'm going to take that color that I just used there. And I'm going to try to make it a little more dark, but a little more red as well. And this beautiful bluish I have needs some red too. But red is such a strong color. You really got to watch out or it just turns into red. So it's a, a fine line to walk. That bird's giving me the eyeball. Saying, hey, don't mess it up over there. Don't mess it up over there. Get a little bit of this white going too, because I'm not trying to make it too light, but somewhat light. Because the next layer is going to be very red. Oh, I think that is a perfect color right there. And this one has to stretch all the way across. Look at that right there. Look at That's just a great color to match the color that's already there and separate from that blue that's already there. Oh my goodness, this kitty's going to drive me nuts. Absolutely insane, he will drive me. But there's this branch down here, right in the light glare. And we're going to see if we can't do something about that. I tell you what, let me do one of these numbers. Can I bring the cup in a little closer? Bringing the cup in a little closer, seeing if that gives us a little bit better shot of this branch. Right here at the foot of this crow. Yeah, Bob. That's what I'm saying there. I have a friend of mine who paints flowers on crystal, uh, like uh, goblets and things like that, heirloom quality crystal. And she is going to teach me how to paint flowers better. And I'm going to attempt to teach her how to paint landscapes. Because if there's one thing I can knock out, it's a landscape. I can just boom, boom, boom. I'm trying to give just a little bit of hint of light on the top part of this without differentiating it too much. And I think it's working out pretty well. I think it's coming through pretty well on the thing. So let me dip back into that dark color. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A uh, yeah. A very yeah. A very, very yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for showing up today and checking out me doing some tiny painting live. We've been rolling for a little while, and I think we're about halfway through what I wanted to do. And that couldn't be awesomer. Is awesomer a word? It is a day where we make awesomer a word so we can rhyme with gossamer. Mm, that's not going to work either. 
the idea now is to put a little differentiation between these branches. And I wish I had a little bit thinner paint to do that with. And a little bit lighter paint. I put tons of white on my palette, so hopefully I don't burn all the way through it. But I'm going to use a very liberal amount of white to try to lighten this reddish purple violet. Secretly, we're all organic robots. And I'm okay with that. Oh, look at that. That is just excellent. Very pleasing to the catfish. Just give a little bit of this down here. Now, sometimes when you've done a little too much, you have to get a little bit of the cloth and and wipe it. So we've got to, let me do it like this so it's up in here. This little bit right here was a little bit much. And I'm gonna try to get it out. One, get as much pigment off of the thing as I can while keeping it all in frame. And then we go back with a little bit of water Not a ton of water, but a little bit of water. And do a little blendage. Oh, that is nice. That is exactly what I was looking for from day one. Very awesome. Very awesome. I'm so excited with how this is turning out. The kitty is excited as well. Sometimes you just touch it once and you're like, well, that's never going to work. But the color stays there and lets you just blend and blend and blend. And blending is the key. As we all learned from Edward Scissorhands. Making all kinds of references today. From Tim Burton to Bob Ross to Stephen King. You can tell where my mind is at. Oh, just fan. Darn tastic. So excited with how these birds are coming along. So, what I want to do now is a little more white on that uh, far branch. If I can get it thin enough, that's going to be good. So we're doing one of these numbers, and I just want to hit the top of it to give it some three-dimensionality. There we go. Yes, sir. We'll keep it going as we go. Yes, bud, we see you. We see you over there being awesome. You're being a good guy. I'm missing some comments. I do apologize, but as you guys come and go, just know that I appreciate you being here while I attempt to do some live jive with the paint brush, the brushiness, the brushiness mega. But I also understand that it's not the uh, number one thing for everybody else's day. So do what you got to do, my friends. And I'm moving on to this reddish branch in the foreground. It will be a very interesting branch because it needs to be as red as possible, but it's still got to be violet. You still got to have a purple branch. And as you can see across all of these, this is the one that has changed the most. It's like, it's like a pink over here and then a pink violet and then a dark red. And I really want that to be the same color there we go, move that out of the way. So we can see what's really going on. And I've got it above me, I've got it on a bit of the, I can speed this in a little bit. Thank you so much, Adventures Toys Reviews. I appreciate everybody being here today, having a little fun, painting live with me. This is a very unique experience for me. Not 100% unique. I can't say unique because I have done this before, but I don't do it often. So it is a rare occasion to catch up with catfish in a live experience. 
and I'm doing a an overhead video like I usually do for my tiny paintings. So hopefully I can then do a, a normal style tiny painting video where it's all like fast and negated. Oh no, that's really good right there. That is excellence. Very excellent. Keep some of this shadow in here. Just kind of blend. Just kind of blend. down here with this one and you guys might not be able to see all this I do apologize I wish I had a whole other camera on my palette because my palette is one of my favorite parts of the tiny painting process now this is a weird spot where I didn't intend for this lump to be here but there it be so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with that lump Oh, goodness. Shaking indeed. I do apologize. I have a bit of a quiver to my hand naturally. And then you put me in a live setting where there's a little bit of pressure to paint it correctly. Ooh, buddy. It gets a shaking. It gets a shaking indeed. No, buddy. I was not calling you. Oh, gracious me. So what I'm doing now is just trying to take that lump and make it a bit of a knot. And we'll see if that even works, because it might not. I might have used a bit much dark paint. And the good thing you can do with that is, I've got these fine little rubber brushes, and you can just come through and scrape, scrape, scrape. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Scrape, scrape, scrape. All that paint off. But it... A little bit of an acrobat cat. Bless his heart. He knows what he's doing. I don't really know what he's doing. But we're going to go with that. Let's try this right here. K Dog McKee up in my live stream. So good to see you. Love you muchly. And I couldn't be happier to see you this fine weekend. One of my very good friends. And boy, did I ever miss an opportunity hang out with K-Dog. I was this close, just about ready to make it happen. He had some some things not go perfectly on his adventure, and it caused me to not really be able to time it up perfectly, which is almost entirely on my part there. But all that said, the internet never forgets like a weird, creepy elephant. Okay, I'm down here in this corner, and I want to kind of give the indication of a little bit of branchiness, uh, barkiness. Oh, that'll scare the cat away. A little bit of dead bark hanging out over here. See if I can add just a touch more darkness to this knot here without totally going overboard. And I like that it's right here over the, the tie-in. It really does make it a much nicer piece altogether. And we're doing great. Time-wise, we're sitting right about where I want to start wrapping it up. And wrapping it up might take a minute. I don't mind that my arm is in there doing some of this action. I need a very fine brush. How's this one? It's a little stiffish. We'll try that. Because what I want to do right now is line some of these birds up. If I can make it happen. And again with the palette, I do appreciate everybody being here tonight. My twin Gomez is doing an awesome job of moderating. I'm going to try to find a way to make you a moderator, Gomez, I promise. 
Right now, you'll notice that K Dog is a moderator and Mark Fun Jones is a moderator. The only two moderators I've ever assigned. Gomez will be the third. Because look at that great job she's doing. And I expect moderators to do nothing. Anything you do is on your own, and I appreciate it every bit. But I am a very pro free speech gentle person. Oh, that's awesome. This, this bluish gray has turned into a nice dark gray. And I think this is going to uh, help me line the lines that I... I kind of messed up some stuff by doing this uh, very carefully. That might not be a thin enough brush. I'm saying that's not a thin enough brush. Doing the sky kind of got into some of the birds. And that's how you do it for not keeping that glow on your birds. Oh, goodness me, that is awesome. Yes, 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 I love how that looks. And I apologize for the shakiness of both my hand and the camera. The hammer, if you want to put those into one. But as I mentioned to our good friend Wisconsin Egg, I have a bit of a tag video coming out where try to brag about some of my buddies, about what great YouTubers they are, and certainly thank all Wisconsin for tagging me in his. I'm not much for the tag back, so I don't know that I'm going to tag anybody out there, but I have an idea of which channels I will be tagging in said tagistry. Bit of a words, wordsmith this morning. Don't mind me. The goal here is just to concentrate on lines. Just concentrate on the lines. Because I've made this awesome color, which kind of looks black against everything else, but I know it's a color of blue that is just really dark. Man, this is looking fantastic today. Very excited. I don't know that I could be more excited for how this is turning out. I think this guy right here is maybe my favorite one. He's got that look in his eye like, please help me. Please help me. And we're going to help him become all the best blackbird he could be. This guy is a bit more of a dog nose, but we're not judging him for it. Bless his birdie little heart. But this other guy over here has uh, some weird tail action, and this is part of why I wanted to do this. So I'm going to do like this. That dry, that's kind of dry. That's not bad. I don't think that's bad at all. Oh yeah, I think that looks like a bird tail. Looks like some tail feathers to be shaken. Had a bit of a collapse. Try to get that put back together. And I think the video up top is going very nicely, so that's the one that really matters, but I am running very short on battery space. The main reason my Tiny paintings are the length that they are before I speed them up. It has to do with the camera that I use to record them. Only having so much battery. This much and no farther, it sometimes like to say to me. So I have to make sure that I'm wrapped up as best I can be. And there has been some times where I did not negotiate it as well as I'd like to have. This is very weird for me because I think you guys can see this better than I can painting it. All I can kind of see is the glare. But that's okay. That's part of what makes this a very interesting live experience. Kitty cat. 
he is having too much fun. He is having more fun than me, and I'm having a blast. So you know what? I'm not going to think any ill of him. He's just a fun little kitty having a fun little time. No, no, no. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get in that water because you're like, wow, what's going on there? I want to play with that. I understand you would like to play with it. Prefer that the playing with it not happen while I'm in a live stream. And it was funny because I uh, devised a plan, such a clever plan, to keep the kitty out of the painting room this afternoon. And my wonderful wife was like, you should probably test that first because I don't know, he's a clever cat. And I said, no, I'm the smartest being on the planet. Bud said, challenge accepted. Challenge very accepted. And he totally did snuff out the chink in the armor, if you will. The area of weakness. He is a water player. And he does want to play in the water. So even though I'm doing mostly black here, I do want to make sure this is kind of touched up. It's a little bit of blue, and that is a little too blue. So we go right back into the black. The really dark blue, if you will. A very, very dark blue. And we apply it to the top and just try to blend down and get a little bit of difference between this and the one right there. Not too bad. Not too bad. But I think if I take a little bit of this dark blue, which I haven't used a ton of today, kind of means I've wasted it. But if I use it here and it works, cat's meow. That is what I'm saying, and I think it's going to work. Just get a scoop of this color. I'm sorry, I take this back, but I'd be shaking it all over the place for just a quick little boom. So I'm going to leave you set. Come back and... Oh, look at that. That is excellent. Excellent. Excellent indeed. I know I'm missing comments, and I'm so sorry. Mark Fun Jones has talked at length about how difficult it is to follow comments while painting live. And he is not joking. It is some serious business. Okay. So we're just going to touch up this guy's legs. Give him a bit of stockings. Make sure somebody hasn't stolen his stockings over here. We're going to button them down. There we go. There we go. Now I need to just a touch more thinner to this dark paint so I can come in and line his feet. Very important. He's got some liney feet going on. Yeah, Mark Fun Jones knows exactly what's going on. When you paint live, you don't always get to see the comments. I hope your family time has gone well, Mark. I know you're probably cheating a little bit by popping in here with old Catfish. But uh, I do appreciate it. And if your family needs to know, tell them to call me and say, hey, this guy knows what's up, and he appreciates it. Because I really do all of my internet cousins, but specifically my first internet cousin, Mark Funnel Cake Jones, and all of the rest of the clan. So before I lose anything here, oh, and man, the one up top is absolutely struggling. Did I see Aunt Jane pop in? Oh, buddy. Let's do one of these numbers. Let's do it so it's in frame up top. Because up top is very important. This is for the moment. Up top is for posterity. That looks fantastic. Indeed.
Let's scroll back through all here and see who all was here today. Looks like Prohet was here early. I believe he may have left Wisconsin. Greg was hanging out a little bit. Looks like he's having some horrible weather. I'm so sorry, my friend. Gomez Adams showed up, and I'm so glad you were here, Gomez. I had actually intended to give you a heads up that this was going on, and that was one of the first things I forgot today. How's that look? I really think those branches tied together nicely. I don't think it's too sloppy. I was a little worried about be it being too sloppy. Wolfie in the pack. Wolfie in the pack was here. I totally missed Wolfie in the pack. Wolfie in the pack. Indeed. Indeed. And I appreciate Bud for not being a total pain in the neck. A total pain in the neck. Our robot again. And hopefully, yeah, I'm just going to let that keep rolling. Stephanie Cardinal. Indeed. I'm kind of scrolling through the comments, seeing who all was here while I wrap this up. Together always vlogs. Good to see you. Deadhead, good to see you. Back into K Dog McKee. You guys have probably been saying some awesome stuff while I'm doing this, and I'm trying to get to it very soon. Ventures Toys Reviews. Saw you. Yes. Making sure I say everybody's name. This old stoner, have I said your name enough? This old stoner was here. Gomez Adams. K Dog McKee. Aunt Jane, indeed. So good to see you. I think this is one of my favorite ones. The funeral host. The funeral host is here. Woo! And now it's a real party. Studio Geek 32. 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 So good to see you. My man Sammy. Hanging out. Jamming on the keyboard. Really, my favorite stuff that Sammy does is usually on the keyboard. But he has so many great and various videos. I just can't help it. Ozark Mountain Girl, right there. Good to see you. Indeed. I'm waiting for my main camera to die, as it likes to do, while I go over these great... Uh... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yes! Yes is here. And I'm so glad to see everybody. This was a very interesting adventure for me. I don't usually paint live. I worry sometimes that it takes away from the actual painting. And when I do it not live, I'm on a time frame, which I am here still too, but I can kind of uh, control a little bit of it. Indeed. So this was the, uh, I don't know. I'm seeing things that I should still do. Look, seeing things I should still do. It's interesting because tiny paintings are usually just a, a standalone tiny painting. These have kind of turned into a set. But I kind of think all paintings are a little snippet from a bigger painting. Even the largest paintings, even the Sistine Chapel has stuff going on at the edges that you can't even see. And so I do sometimes like to put these together in this type of thing. I'm going to do a little zoom out real quick because, ooh, look at that. Shaky hand. we got to do one of these numbers. I think we're done with that there. Buffering a lot. I'm probably going to let that buffer all the way out. I'm going to follow you, Pro Het. And, uh, whoop. And, uh, if you need me, get a hold of me. I'll be around. The chess piece was probably one of my favorite sets. I wish I could do another one as amazing. This one is pretty darn good, though. Very excited to have this. I'm going to wrap it up right here at just about 45 minutes going live. Sounds like there was some robot talking. Sounds like there was some buffering. But in the end, I think I touched this up perfectly, and we have a beautiful set of blackbirds. So until I see you all again...